Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video I'm gonna be playing Big Farm Story. It is obviously another farming simulation game. It's been in early access for quite some time, however, the full release of the game just came out on August 2nd. You can get it either on Steam or on the Microsoft Store. And the developer of the game, Good Game Studios, actually sent me a Steam key for the game, so that's why I can show it to you guys today, so thank you very much. And let's just jump right into it, so let's play. And just a very important note is that to play this game, you actually do need an internet connection. And I think there's quite a few multiplayer features, so you can play with friends online and things like that. So uh, we're gonna find that out, I guess. So here it is. Right away, it looks very cute. I like how vibrant everything looks. How are we done, Grandpa? Farmerick is never finished, little one. Why don't you harvest those last ones for me? And here, four brand new seeds to sow afterwards. So basically to harvest, you just need to click. It kind of feels... I don't know why I'm getting kind of mobile game vibes from this. Uh, like with the XP and everything, but we'll see. So you can move with the mouse. You can also move with uh, the keyboard. But yeah, I'm gonna harvest everything. What's next? Now those plants will need water. See the well. Yeah, you can get water from there. All right, so let's get some water and like this. Great, now just plow the field and plant the seed. All right, so I think the tools, you don't need to change your tools, it selects automatically. Oh, and then you can plant carrot and it just takes one day. So that's pretty fast for, for most farming sims to have a crop ready in one day. That's pretty fast. Okay, you can either select the seed or you can repeat um, the seed that you had before. So I'm just gonna repeat and so you don't have to select it every time and it waters automatically so that's pretty straightforward. I don't know if we're gonna get better tools later in the game where you can plant more than one crop at a time. Very well done, you'll become a great farmer one day. Just like you, Grandpa. Oh, oops, oh sorry, <laughs> I didn't have time to read that. I clicked too fast. So I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of character creation. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. So you can choose your character, your gender, and your name. So cute. <laughs> I really like the art style. Oh, when I was a kid, I loved visiting Grandpa's farm. So I chose my character, but I didn't choose any kind of customization options. These days, we write letters to stay in touch, but recently he stopped replying. Oh no, I think he passed away. Until this mysterious message arrives. Oh, maybe not. Dear Josh, I hope this letter finds you well. This may come as a surprise, but I want you to take over the farm. Please come here as soon as you can, and I will explain everything with love, Grandpa, of course. There's lots of loading screens, but they're they all like very fast, like not even half a second loading screens. Oh, wow, it's a mess. What happened here? Help. Oh, who's that? Yeah, I wish you could... Maybe you can customize your character later. Uh, I'm not a big fan of how he looks. Oh, hey, finally, I've been here for an hour. Please help me get this off. Of course. It's too heavy. I can't. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Grab one of the fallen branches and use it for leverage. Let's save this guy. This one is too small. Are there any others? Okay, let's get some more branches. This one is rotten. Please search for another one. Yes, that one. Okay, all right. Let's see. Now try again. Thank you. I owe you one, Josh. It's me, Benny. We used to play as kids. Your grandpa, Walter, asked me to wait for you. All right, I'm supposed to give you this key. Here you go, and congratulations. The key for the house, thanks. I hope grandpa's all right. Any idea where he went? No, I last saw him before the storm. Certainly, he'll be back soon. He's not going to be happy about all the storm damage, but the buildings are all dilapidated anyway. I've gathered all the materials that can still be used, but you'll still need more. And I repaired the farm box before my little accident. It's on a road leading to our place. Hey, how about we put your rusty farm knowledge to the test? Buy a few seeds from the farm box and fill the empty field areas, your grandpa will be happy to. Yeah, great idea, Benny. Oh, and you need to fix the well. Okay, sure. Got some, ooh, one XP. That's pretty good. Okay, um, okay, all right. So farm box, where's the farm box? So I need to buy four carrot seeds. Let's track the quest. Uh, oh, so I think you can buy your seeds directly from there so you don't have to go you don't have to go to any shop or anything like that, I think. So, let's see. Just one coin. It's pretty cheap. Uh, how much? Oh, I have 50 coins now. Okay, let's buy 10. 
And you can sell your stuff here, so... Oh, and it gives you a little idea of everything you can collect in the game. So it seems like there's lots of different crops. Flowers. Some items like feathers. And... Yeah, lots of foraging items. Oh, lots of different fishes. So you can do some fishing differently. So anyway, it gives you a little idea of everything you can collect in the game. Uh, yeah, there's lots of trash, so you can... Oh, I really should clean up my farm, but there are more important things to do for... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me do my... Okay, let me repair the well first. Apparently, I need to do that. Okay, all right. So I need one branch, and yeah, that's all I need. This will repair it. Well, that was an easy repair. Let's fill up our bucket. So everything's automatic. You just click the seed, and it tills the soil, it waters, it does everything. So in one day, these carrots are going to be ready. And I'm going to sell them. And you can see the stamina here on the right side. So it's going down very fast now. And if you don't have any energy supplier in your inventory right now, cook some food or buy one from a store. Okay. This <laughs> this looks like something for like a mobile game, like a microtransaction to refill your energy. But I don't think that's the case. I think you can just cook it or buy it from a store with in-game currency. Actually, I don't think there's any microtransactions in this game. Well, Josh, what can I do for you today? So, about getting started. Great job. Looks like you haven't forgotten anything your grandpa taught you. It's getting late. Use the key to the house and get some sleep in the bed. I'm going home. All right. Thank you so much. So, let's go in our house. So, we've got a pretty big house right off the start. Farmhouse. Oh, wow. That's already repaired. I changed the color of the roof and everything. Right? Just with a branch. Just with a single branch. And okay, you can change the color of the roof later as well, or maybe the walls, maybe the colors of everything. But yeah, it's a pretty cute house. So let's go inside. And so I think you can really customize the interior of the house. And I really like how everything looks. Everything looks so beautiful. Look at these, like the sunlight, or maybe the moonlight, should I say? Anyway, the light coming to the window with the little dust kind of floating. And uh, yeah, everything's super cute. Oh, I think maybe you can... Oh, I was thinking maybe you can change your outfit from here. Oh! Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So you can... Uh, you've got some arrows here, so you can change, actually, uh, your character. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, so it's all preset characters. And I want to see the female characters, just so you guys can have an idea. This one's pretty cute. This one's pretty cute. They're all really cute. Yeah, you've got lots of variety, but yeah, you can't really choose, like... You can't really make your own character, as far as I know, at least so far. And you've got other rooms. It's kind of inter... Oh, I don't think... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so if you want to expand the house, you need to uh, unlock this in the quest, and then screws, and then some lugs. So, yeah, at the beginning, you just start with this little room. And yeah, all right, like this. I mean, they completed, so I got 27 experience and I've got new stickers. Hooray. All right, so when you wake up, your energy fills up. Good morning, Josh. I hope you slept well. There's nothing better than sleeping in a cozy bed to recharge your energy. I have a small welcome gift here. Maybe you can find a nice place for it in the house. So what did we get? Oh, we've got a Roman numerals clock and a green thumb which are houseplants. Have you already had a look at your field? Looks like your carrots grew big overnight. They are the perfect size for harvesting. All right, so let's put down our furniture so we can see how that works. All right, so I'm guessing if I open my bag and... Okay, so you know what? Let's take a look at the menu. So here you can see the quest. Here you've got your gathered items. So all the items you can discover in the game. Here you can see your animals, which I don't have. Here you can see your pet. Oh. Lots of different pets. Actually, there is dwarf squirrel, <laughs> corgi, black piglet, unicorn piglet, but no cats. Okay, so you need to unlock a sticker to unlock the pets. So I think you need to make a little bit more progress in the game. And then crafting here, and then relationships, and then, oh, character level. Unlock sticker with each new level. Here you can delete yourself. And here, show quest in HUD. All right, how do I decorate? Oh, okay, so you need to select these empty empty spots 
and then you decide what you put there. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Okay, so if I want my clock to be here. Oh, no. A clock doesn't go here. Uh, maybe here. Since it's kind of smaller. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they have kind of preset spots. A little bit like in uh, Story of Seasons Partners of Olive Town. Where you have to put your things in a very specific corner of your house. So I think for today, so I'm gonna harvest my carrots and then I'm gonna clean up everything. I wish you could click on multiple things, have a queue, like in The Sims. I wish you could do that since you do everything like just by clicking around. But anyway, let's sell our carrots. So every day you can just come here and you get the money instantly. So let's see how Benny's doing. My favorite farmer needs some help. Okay, about the carrots. Didn't you say you haven't done this in a while? It looked great to me. Thank you, but it was just carrots. I still have to brush up on some of my knowledge. I'm worried about my grandpa. He hasn't come home yet. Do you know where to look for him? The best thing to do is ask my dad, Owen. The road to the right leads to our home. You will find him there. I'll wait here in case he comes back while you're gone. You can have these seeds. You are obviously much better at farming than I am. So we've got some more carrot seeds. Some... I'm not sure why he gave me water, but... All right, and I leveled up. Oh, and I can choose one reward. Hmm. So maybe digging sounds interesting, but I think I'm gonna take potatoes. With this knowledge, I'll be able to plant potatoes and more than just my appetite is excited about these tasty tubers. That's interesting. So by playing, you're gonna unlock more seeds and more skills. So you don't get everything like right at the start. And you have to learn how to cultivate the different crops. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. So here we've got the carpenter's homestead. So I want to, I want to take a look at the map, but it just <laughs> the loading screen is too fast. Josh, great to see you. Can I help you? Yeah, where's my grandpa? By the blasted wind, if it isn't little Josh, well, not quite so little anymore. Your grandpa told me he was handing over the farm to you. Congrats. Thanks. But have you seen him by any chance, my grandpa? No, not for a while actually. Your grandfather was acting a little strange recently. Very secretive, you know, but he might be with Mayor Connor in town. Unfortunately, we can't get into town at the moment. The storm destroyed the bridge. I hope he's alright. I saw Benny at our farm. He's going to keep looking there. That's my boy. But that does mean that we are one man short for the cleanup. Look at this place. Okay, sure. I'm gonna help you cleaning. Oh, talk to my wife, Amelia. She's organizing the cleanup. Alright, so let's start. I don't know if that's her. Yeah, hello, my dear. What can I do for you today? I'm here for the cleanup. Well, hello there. You must be Josh. Your grandpa, Walter, told us to expect you. Indeed, ma'am. I'd like to help with the cleanup since Benny can't. That's very kind, but where is Benny? He stayed at our farm in case grandpa comes back. He seems to be missing. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure he's in town safe with the mayor. They've been quite close lately. It's nice of you to want to help. Sam, look who it is. Remember Josh? Oh. Hey, what are you doing here? Josh has offered to help us clean up. Isn't that nice? Sure, I guess. Let's get started. All right, let's go. So that's just a little cutscene. Oh. Oh, wow, that was quick. Yay, everything's clean. That should be enough cleaning. Let's go back to Sam. Oh, and I just got flax fiber. You can sell it or use it for crafting. Oh. Yeah, actually, there's a lot of stuff you can pick up. Oh, wildflower seeds. These seeds can be planted on the fields of your farm and will provide you with field products. Uh, some rocks. Oh, so I need the digging skill to get that. So uh, when I level up next time. Oh, some cut on. Oh, no. Yarrow. I see, I'm not sure what's that. And this one. Oh, this one is cotton. Oh, okay. So I think you can make. Oh, oh, oh. There's a chest. Hooray. The key to all the treasures that are hidden in the area. Hopefully there are no traps. Oh, I need to. Uh, from player level six. So I'm going to get a key later. And then once I get the key, I can open this chest. So, yeah, I really like that mechanic of, like, having to level up to get access to certain skills and, like, certain items. So, let's speak with Sam. What are you up to about the cleanup? Great work. Thank you. So, I've got access to Shepherd's Farm. And oh, my max energy increased, so that's good. And we've got access to Amelia's store. So, let's go. Oh, level up. So, I think... Oh, mycology. That sounds interesting, but I think I'm gonna take the digging. I'm gonna go 
here. So I got horseradish used for cooking. Oh, and fulfill market contracts. Okay. So, and there's a store here that I've unlocked. So here I can buy. Small picnic can be used to gain more energy for the day. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Look at this house. Red timbered house. So you can really change the appearance of the different buildings on your farm and you can sell stuff here i'm assuming that's gonna be the same prices as in the farm box all right so let's go to the shepherd's farm so i think that's where you can buy some animals levi 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 where are you who's levi levi oh no they're looking for some animal or something. I'm not too sure. Oh, when? Please tell me. Have you seen my son? Oh, that's their son. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, not since before the storm, Jacob. What happened? He's gone missing. Hannah tells me that he was out looking for rabbits before the storm hit us. Don't you worry, Jacob. I'm sure he's fine. We'll help you search for the boy. This is Josh. He's helped us clean after the storm. Thank you, Owen. Josh, to receive such kindness from a stranger is rare indeed. So let's track this and yeah, you can just follow that. Oh, let me get this purple. Th oh, that's flax fiber. And let's see what I can buy here. Okay, so I don't have this tar yet. Probably right after maybe we can buy our first animal today. So let's go to the woods and here we are. Let's look for a little Levi. So we've got tons of rabbits. So, oh, there he is. Oh no, that's me. Sorry, <laughs> that's me. I thought I was... I can't even recognize my own character. Oh, there's some eggs there. Oh, oh no, that's a mushroom. Sorry, I thought it was an egg. <laughs> this is a mushroom and you can go back to your farm from the woods. And um, yeah, lots of mushrooms everywhere. Let's see, where's Levi? Oh, there he is. He's just picking up some blueberries. <coughs> oh no. Levi, I'm just your dad sent me out looking for you my leg it hurts so much I went to play in the woods but the ground is so wet from the storm I slipped and fell on a rock oh no I just stay put and try not to move I will get help and be right back you're gonna be okay promise I'm just gonna pick up some blueberries first and then I'm gonna go see his dad oh and Jacob please you need to come quickly I found Levi he's hurt poor lad thank you Josh we'll bring him home I will craft a leg splint so we can safely transport Levi. Please meet Lydia and me at our farm. Alright, so now let's go talk to Lydia. Oh, father, Levi's temperature is way too high. We should call Dr. Gallen to treat him. The bridge was destroyed by the storm. I can't get to the townlet to summon the doctor, Lydia. I know, but will our household remedies be enough? Let us know when we can help you in any way, Mr. Shepherd. You don't need to do that alone. Levi is my strong boy. I know he will fight through this if he has to. Oh, okay. We will handle that on our own. What's the plan? Take care of the medicine for the fever and I will do the rest. Levi will get through that, I'm sure. Hey, level 4 already. So I want to get mycology. Oh, mining rocks. That's going to be useful too. But I'm going to go pick up some mushrooms. Hello again, Josh. I've not had the chance to thank you properly for helping find Levi. You're too kind. I do have another favor to ask you. I'm missing an important ingredient for his medicine, but I'm loath to leave his side. Can you help collect some herbs for me? Sure. So the feeling I'm getting from this game... Oh! Benny's actually helping me repair the farm. He's building some stuff for me. Uh, but the feeling I'm getting from this game so far is that it seems to be kind of very story focused with like a main quest line and specific things to do. Maybe it's just for the tutorial, but I feel like it's going to be a thing throughout the game where you have lots of quests and things to do, which is not always the case. Usually in farming sims, you're just kind of on your own and you do your own thing and there's no like big quests. So I think that's something interesting to see. That's definitely nice to have. And so our wildflowers just take one day to grow. Uh, so we're going to pick them up tomorrow so in the meantime we still have a lot of time so maybe I can clean up my farm a little bit and then I'm gonna go pick up some mushrooms oh there's a dog there let me see if I can maybe I can adopt this dog I'm not too sure I think so the dog looks scared and whines 
Hey, little one, are you lost? So that's how you find the different pets, I think. He whines again, but carefully sniffs your hand. Hmm, no tag. Maybe you want to come with me? He wags his tail in delight. Ah, uh, you're so cute. I always wanted my own dog. Yeah, I think that's it. That's how he you get your first pet. So now if I open my journal. Oh, yeah. There it is. So I don't know if we're going to have to find him a name. Corgi. You know what? I think <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this. I don't know if we can change it later. Uh, so now if I go here, I can see Corgi. I can get rid of him. I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, yeah. You can change the name at any time. So if you guys have any good name ideas, let me know in the comments. And I'm going to change Corgi's name for... A cuter name and you can level it up with cookies yeah maybe a little bit later I'm not sure if there's anything that pet can do besides just following you around everything if I want to unlock a new area I need to pay and then you unlock it and I think every area is more expensive so like fifth field area is 500 coins I don't know which one is the third one maybe it's this one Third field area, 150 coins. Okay. So at least now I can plant some more carrots maybe. All right. Just like this. And I'm going to go pick up some mushrooms. All right. So let's see what kind of mushroom you can get. Morel for cooking. And chanterelle for cooking. Oh, these ones are just decorative. There's more here. This one is a common mushroom. So... Let's see for how much I can sell all of these mushrooms. Oh, it's just one coin each, actually. It's not such a good way to make money. Sometimes, like, usually in, like, Story of Seasons and other games, usually can get a lot of money with foraging, but... I think maybe I should just keep them for cooking in this case. Oh, by the way, I just realized I can actually remove the boxes in my house here. Just by doing this. Alright, so everything's clean now. I'm just gonna go to bed. And you've got this little mat this little bed for your pets all right so let's pick up the wildflowers and get the medicine hey josh it's nice to see you here so here's your medicine thank you so much josh i will try my very best but his fever has gotten even worse i hope we can return the favor one day josh all right so let's get our reward level five so i think i'm gonna get maybe the mining yeah i think i'm gonna go with my oh energy is tempting but i'm gonna get the mining wax and let's see what happens with lil levi hopefully he's gonna be fine oh the sad music is starting it's not helping his temperature keeps rising can i do anything else to help levi no, I don't think either of us can help him in this condition. Father, we have to get the doctor somehow now. Yeah. This blasted storm. All right, we are out of options. We have to get this bridge up again somehow. All right, so let's go repair that bridge. All right, so he just gave me an axe. And I'm going to have to go get some wood to uh, repair the bridge. Oh, there's a... Oh, I like this. I like this kind of little mini game. So you just have to press... When you're in the red. Or maybe when you're in the blue. No, I'm assuming probably when you're in the red. And I got some tree bark and some lugs. Okay, so I just figured out how it works. Is that there's this green bar. And you have to bring this green bar down. And it's just that if you hit the blue. It's, it's not going to bring the bar down very much. But if you hit the red. It's going to bring it down a little bit faster. So... Yeah, it doesn't make a big difference. It's just a matter of like being a little bit more efficient. So now I've got all the lugs I need. So I'm going to go talk to Owen. All right, so let's repair this bridge. I've got the lugs. Good job. Want to do the honors on the last nail? Just go to the bridge to finish it up. Oh, wow. They're already almost done. All right. Oh, and here's the townlet on the other side. So let's repair this. The last nail, there's quite a lot left to do. Okay, unlock. And here it is. So let's explore the townlet. And uh, yeah, let's go see the doctor, most importantly. Oh, help, please. What's up? What's happening with Levi? It's getting worse. I don't know what to do. Oh, no, that sounds bad. But the doctor should be here any moment. Look, there they come. Here's the doctor, finally. 
Lydia, what happened? Thank God you're here. Hurry up. Levi is getting worse. Is Levi doing better now? Yes, he's a strong boy. I only wish I could have come earlier. Thank you for your help in this. Dr. Gallen, have you been any chance seen my grandfather in town? Walter? No. Well, not recently. Oh, Owen said that he might have been in town during the storm. I see. Well, now that the bridge is repaired, there's an easy way to test that theory. Come on, let's head over and check. Level 6. And let's get the treasure key and let's see what are the different treasures on my farm. And But first, let's talk to the mayor. Oh wow, what a lively town. There's lots of different shops and things going on. So I'm assuming that's the mayor right here. Ouch, my thumb. Matilda, can you pick up the hammer? Right there. Mayor Connor, Matilda, is everything alright? Ah, Nathan, how is the shepherd boy? Jacob is all out of sorts. He'll be fine. They did a good job without me, but sometimes conventional medicine is a necessity. And this must be Josh. You've grown since last I saw you. We could use some help with this market if the two of you have a minute. Connor, we're doing fine, really. Just need to find that hammer. We'd be happy to lend a hand. What do I need for that? Oh, I've already got everything I need. And... Okay, let's talk to Matilda. Hello, my dear. What can I do for you today? About the market. Oh, this is so cute. Thank you all so much. After the storm hit, I thought I was done for. Happy to be of help. I need to tend to my patients now, but don't hesitate if you need anything else. I'd best get back to it as well. Thank you, Josh. Come to see me at the town hall if you have time. Yes, I will, because I want to find my grandpa. Oh, and I just unlocked friendship, so I think I can see my relationships now. So, yeah, we're talking about my grandfather. Josh, your grandfather is tough. He'll be back fine as ever. But come, you've helped me fix up the market. Do you know why it was so important to Connor? Uh, he really likes markets? Yeah. True as well, but mainly because this is where anyone in need of products can post their contracts. The contracts can be filled by local farmers. Since the storm hit, there's a lot of demand, but not enough supply. Since you're here, would you mind taking a look? Of course. Let's check these contracts. So, for example, this one needs some branches and in exchange I'm gonna get some screws and some... Oh, market experience and regular experience. So let's deliver that. So that's one request done. This one needs more branch. Let's do this one. And some more stones. Let's do this. Oh, market level 2. And let's see. I've got a little present. So I've got 30 screws. But anyway, let's do this one. I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, I don't have anything else. But I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today. Oh, you know what? I just want to check out what's in this chest. Oh, can be exchanged for friendship rewards in the townlet. A blue heart represents friendship, loyalty, and trust. I assume that's why my predecessor decided in favor of this token color. It can also be distinguished like this. So basically, you just have to come here, and you've got the friendship rewards, and that's the things you can buy. So I have 15 uh, friendship tokens now. But if you have more, you can get stuff to decorate your farm, decorate your house. And what's this? And this can be applied to friends field. They then receive an additional gift when harvesting. So I think that's your, for your real other players you can give that to other players when you interact with them and you can also sell your token for coins but you know what guys i think that's gonna be pretty much it for today i just wanted to give you a very first look at this game let me know if you're interested in seeing more of big farm story this game is definitely a surprise for me because i didn't hear too much about it before i started playing and I was a little bit skeptical at first because I got some kind of mobile game vibes. But in the end, it turns out that I think it's a pretty interesting game. I'm having fun so far. It seems very kind of story focused. And I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of multiplayer features we have. And I'm trying to get that chest. And it's just <laughs> really tricky because it's kind of behind the board. So I'm not too sure how to do it. Anyway, let me know guys what you think of this game in the comments and if you want to see more content about this game. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you all in the next video.